friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB to advanced test analyst. We are in chapter 3 and looking at the next topic 3.4 applying appropriate techniques. Let's understand more about what exactly applying the best technique is all about or appropriate technique is like to understand and recognize the need of applying a technique what it is really important at what point of time what technique will be most helpful for you to derive the most uh, relevant and efficient test cases to test a particular scenario is what we are talking about so when generally it comes to understanding the best technique we really understand what is specification based what is experience based what is defect based and how does that really apply and what could be the possible outcomes and where it will be more beneficial to apply these categories and different techniques under that. At the same time, we are also talking about combining the techniques uh, from the previous segment which we have already learned to understand where if we can combine certain techniques to get probable uh, benefits from the scenario and the outcome. It is what we are looking at in more detail here. So it's a very small topic, probably we do not have any expectation, but this can be clubbed together with the other topics uh, to understand the scenario or uh, scenario-based question from the test analyst examination. So here if you see uh, applying experience and defect-based techniques which are at the high level uh, requires knowledge about the defects and other testing experiences to target the testing in order to increase defect detection. The range from quick tests in which the tester has no formally pre-planned activities to perform through pre-planned sessions to scripted sessions. They are almost always useful but have particular values in following circumstances. So this is where we are talking about where it is more applicable or identifying the appropriateness of applying the experience-based technique is what we are looking at. So when there is no specification available, of course, we would prefer to have experience and defect-based techniques. There is poor, poor documentation of application being tested. Insufficient time is allowed to design and create the techniques. That means applying formal techniques. Testers are experienced in the domain or technology. Diversity from scripted testing is a goal to maximize the test coverage. That means a top-up over the specification-based approach. Operational failures are to be analyzed, that is by creating certain scenarios where the system fails and you want to understand what if this kind of activities are performed by the user. Defect and experience-based techniques are also useful when using in conjunction with specification-based techniques. That means a blend of specification and experience-based technique can also add a lot of value to your testing and at the same time include a lot of coverage and also result in filling the gaps in the test coverage that result from the systematic weaknesses in these techniques. As with the specification based technique, there is not one perfect technique for all situations. So that is where we try to understand at the end of this statement that there is nothing specific determined by any organization, any board or any particular process and practices that this is the most relevant technique. As you understand a scenario and you realize that there could be something more added to the execution or you can really add a more sufficient and efficient number of test cases to get better outcome or define the quality in the product, you're always welcome to add your values by combining the techniques or using the different set of combinations of different techniques. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have any query, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you. In case uh, you have uh, any related questions or anything related to upcoming tutorials, we will be coming back with the next chapter, that is chapter 4. But before that, we'll have a sample question tutorial from this particular chapter. So stay tuned for that. And till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context about the same. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.